guys, welcome back. We've got some good footage today. We've got a handicap race. It's a 100 kilometer handicap race. I bring you into the footage with 25 kilometers to go. And uh, this is the crux point of the race. It's when Scratch are catching one of the uh, groups and they absolutely drive it in the crosswinds. And so we'll see what happens. And this whole stretch of road for the next 10 kilometers or so is a crosswind section of road. It's a really tough section. It's as Scratch are catching the group. So you'll see that as we go past the groups, we really turn the throttle on. Three little pointers today. I'll point them out as we go and then I'll show you the sprint finish. So uh, let's head over to the footage. So Scratch are coming past the 10 minute group here. You can see Cirrus Monk in the uh, African Wildlife Safari kit just in front of me. He's picked it up from 55 kilometers an hour to 60 k's an hour. You watch the speed go up here. Absolutely drives it so that these front markers don't get on. That's a key thing just to not let the guys get on. The reason they do that is they don't want stragglers and, and excess baggage on the back of the group because it just slows the group down overall. And the other reason is, you know, if guys get on the back, they can sit on for the rest of the race and uh, potentially sprint or out sprint these guys for the win. You can see how I've pulled over behind uh, Cirrus. I, I was absolutely at my max here. Couldn't pull a turn and so I'm just following wheels. Um, just trying to look after myself because we're in, we're heading into a crosswind. There's no trees on the right hand side in the field there. So we're heading into this really tough crosswind section. You can see Dean Johnson pulls over here. This gap's opened up partially because of me. Uh, I probably should have followed the wheels, but I was just at, in the red zone and couldn't go with it. And you can see the uh, Charter Mason guy just follows my wheel there. He couldn't do it either. And the other Charter Mason guy comes through and closes the gap. So we're all in the herd house here. They're driving it. They're trying to get rid of, rid of as much dead wood as possible. You can see they've stepped it up 60 k's an hour here on the top right of screen. So we are flying. I mean, there's been races where I haven't even sprinted at 60 kilometers per hour. So you can see this is max, max, max. A gap's opened up here to Dean. He's just trying to close that up. We're all single file in the gutter. There are people getting spat out the back this whole group is spread out now over about 500 meters. So um, big gaps are opening, tough section. And um, on of this race, it was a two and a half hour long race. This is probably the hardest point of the whole race. And it's only a five to 10 minute section of road, maybe probably a little bit longer. So this is the crux point. This is the point that you want to hold on for as long as possible. And uh, I suppose tip one is as if you're a marker and scratch scratch come past you and uh, collect your group up you've just got to cling on for as long as you can and just dig deep try to bite the, the tape and uh, hang in there because uh, they do sit up you can see we've back gone from 60 k's an hour back down to 50 k's an hour here and so uh, we're all sort of freewheeling a little bit Dean's got back on you can see we're all in a bit of pain though so there you go Sirius again so all these strong boys you look out the back there you can see there are people all over the road. This is probably the toughest section of road. And to see the trees on the left there, that's protecting the group now. You know, we've got a bit of protection from that crosswind. But as we come back out into the open of those fields, that crosswind sort of takes effect again and we're all in the gutter. Dean Johnson doing well here, just uh, recovering a little bit, just trying to, trying to get the heart rate back down. Uh, we're all sort of sitting up, it's 45 k's an hour, top right of screen. So it's time for a drink. You know, we can sort of recover a little bit, get the heart rate back down a little bit. But we know that it's gonna be game on again very soon. Cal O'Brien here, young fella, very strong rider. You can see someone's gone to the front, picked the speed up again, back up to 50 k's an hour. Cal, just trying to close that gap down. And there, we're collecting markers. You can see how quickly they're coming back. So this is, the GoPros really don't give a good indication of how hard it is. Watch how fast we go past this guy. This is just to give you an indication of how fast we're going. And you can see, if you look down the back there, there is literally 20 to 25 blokes that have been spat out the ass and are no longer with this group. And that's bike racing, you know. This is, this is what it's all about. You know, guys, strong guys like Cirrus here. Uh, coming to the front, laying the absolute smack down, and it's basically, you know, survival of the fittest, whoever can hang on. And uh, let me uh, 
let me assure you I was in the red zone the whole time here. So I think that's how you pronounce his name, Cyrus Monk. He's uh, from Warragul, African Wildlife Safari rider. Young fella, really good rider. And all these guys, I feel a bit outclassed in this group here because they're, uh, they're all strong boys. So I've just skipped ahead here, uh, probably five k's down the road, just to show you that there's only eight of us left in this group. Eight or nine of us left out of, uh, when we started the video, there was probably 30 to maybe maybe 20 to 30 to 40 riders. So a lot of people have been shed here. Uh, I'm not sure of this guy's name here from Druin. Um, but he's a good rider. He's definitely a good rider. So um, just clinging on here. So we've gone through that town. We were protected by the town and the buildings and the, and the trees. And now we've come out into the open road, picked up another marker there on the left, and we're out on the open fields, in the gutter, and everyone's in the hurt house. I am absolutely chewing tape here. And um, we're all in the left-hand gutter, so that just really shows you that there's this crosswind. If you look at the little bushes on the side of the road, you can see that there's a crosswind coming over the road here. So. Uh, this guy here, the Druin guy, he's just clinging on, clinging on, and all of a sudden he lets go. So I've put a timer on here to see if he had hung on for a little bit longer. You can see we're doing 51 kilometers an hour, top of screen, top right. He's just let go of the wheel, and uh, I know what that feeling's like. I've been there probably 100 times myself. We're doing 50 k's an hour in the gutter. We're hurting so much. If he had have just hung on for another 30 seconds to a minute, You'll watch the speed drop down here. So 51, 46, so we're sitting up. The guy on the front sitting up and we're back down to 43 k's an hour. Everyone's freewheeling. So you can see 45 to 50 seconds is all he needed to hang on for and he would have been with us. So I'm not singling him out because I've done this probably 50 times. Um, what I'm saying here is that when you're racing and you're in that zone where you're just hurting so much, all I'm saying to you is just think about it, hang on for a little bit longer. Just aim for 60 seconds longer, and I can guarantee you the, the boys will sit up. The boys will sit up. You can see we're freewheeling here. We're just sort of getting the heart rates back down. And uh, it's still hard, but it's not as hard as it was two minutes ago. So you can see we're coming into some trees there on the right and uh, there are moments where you sort of get to recover a little bit. And they've backed it off to 44 k's an hour. But to cut a long story short, we uh, lots of attacking went on. We're in the, uh, I've cut to the home straight here. So this is probably with about five kilometers to go. And uh, we're coming up on uh, some of the limit riders. I think it was uh, Bruce Will, Tom Maloney, Michael Voigt and Max Turlado that we're coming up on now. So this is literally with five, six kilometers to go. That I think that's the last group on the road. But um, as it turned out, well, at the time, I was thinking that these were the last guys that we were going to catch, that um, this was it. But it turns out that um, I think there was a two or three other riders further up from this group. So yeah, put, your, put yourself in my shoes here. I'm looking at these guys that we've just caught, these three on the left, four on the left here, and I'm thinking, right, that's it, that's the race. We've, we're at the front of the race now. So uh, it's time to look after yourself for the sprint. Literally four or five kilometers to go. And uh, not, not to do anything silly. I'm in some classy, amongst some classy riders here. These boys all know what they're doing. So a bit of a tailwind coming into the home straight here. We're down to 38 k's an hour. Everyone's sort of sitting up. It's been a hard race. 100 kilometer handicap is never easy, especially when you're pushing on the pedals the whole time. And um, copying a bit of grief here from the uh, Charter Mason boy about me hitting the front. Young Cal sort of digs a bit and I've jumped straight in his wheel. So the job of a sprinter in this situation is to cover everything. If someone attacks hard, 
you've got to just be on it. You've just got to be bang, straight on the wheel. And make sure that no one gets away. And uh, one thing I've never done over the years is let out a sprint. You can see here I'm sitting on the front just looking over my right shoulder, keeping an eye on everyone, making sure no one attacks and, and uh, just really making sure that no one goes up the road. There's another attack here from the Charter Mason guy, I'm not sure of his name. Kicks up to 50 k's an hour and I've just covered that. I've basically just gone bang straight under his wheel make sure that uh, no one gets away now. If someone attacks and gets away, then, and you're a sprinter, then you're, you're a silly boy, you know, you should, you should never let that happen. Bit of banter being exchanged. We're all watching each other now. We're literally one to two kilometers to go to the finish. Just easing up to 37 k's an hour, just looking after the legs. My heart rate's still relatively high. I'm at 171 beats a minute, so this probably wasn't the best option for me to be sitting on the front watching everybody. I probably should have been five to six back and keeping an eye on everyone from that position. I've never actually let out a sprint before like this. So you gotta try new things though. Bit of banter going around. I think Ross, young Ross Gordon there in the green behind this guy in the blue is just stirring up his mate. But look at it, we're all, everyone's, everyone's watching everyone now, just waiting for the first person to jump. We're, I reckon we've got probably a kilometre to go now. looking over the right shoulders. Ross kicks a bit here. We're stepping it up to 45, 46 kilometers an hour. Ross is uh, just exchanging a bit of banter with me there. You can see he puts his hand on my ass to push me forward here because I was actually so fatigued. I was in the herd house and uh, leading out the sprint, yeah, not sure about that. And then one of the boys kicks. Cirrus jumps on his wheel. There goes Cal. Bang. I've got nothing left in the tank. I have atomic mushroomed in proper style and just sat up and watched the boys go in. So, so yeah, leading out the sprint, probably not the best thing for me. Probably won't do that again. Um, but uh, great race, well done boys. There was actually, I think three, Brett Kennedy won it from the seven minute group, followed by uh, Chris Joustra and Rob Monk. And then uh, Cirrus Monk from scratch got fastest time and, and he brought home the group. And So well done. So, uh, But uh, I hope you got something out of that. Uh, like and subscribe the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know if you've got any questions and I'll try to answer them in my next Q&A.